We have this wonderful young lady, Lila, who wants to confess Christ through baptism. Baptism is the picture of what's already happened on the inside. Jesus shows us that. First it comes with John the Baptist, or the baptizer, who comes and baptizes people for repentance of sins. And then Jesus picks it up and his disciples actually do baptism. And it's one of the things in which we do that carries on in our church. It's because we remember that we're dead without Christ. Mm -hmm. And it's the picture of going under the water and dying. And then coming back up, washed and cold, <laughs> into newness of life. The cold part's not really part of it. <laughs> but that's what baptism's all about, and that's why I was here. Okay. Um, so when I think about my life before Christ, it's kind of like a black cloud is over it. I was always striving. I was always trying to fit in, and I never really fit in with anything. I was always just, like, grasping, trying to prove myself, and no matter what I did, just wasn't right. And I always was missing something. And then we had a crazy life experience where we almost lost our son. And my husband ended up getting saved. And I fought it for a really, really long time, for years and years and years. I would go to church with him and just try not to listen. And just, I was really like hardening my heart on purpose. But after years, it slowly started to sink in. And, you know, my transformation story is not one of those overnight stories. It's over years. And, you know, one time I was talking to a friend, and I recited a verse to her, and I was like, oh, my God, that was <laughs> <laughs> And I just, I think about, you know, how my life has changed and how now that I've softened my heart and I see the truth, how God has worked in my life, it's absolutely mind-blowing to me, and I would never, ever want to go back. And so for that, I'm just every day so grateful. Amen. Amen. of your faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. calling me to move and God called me to move to this church. It's a really long story. I don't think you all want to hear the whole thing. But uh, let me just say, I love, I love this church. You all have given me a, a, a comfort that, that I needed. Um, so I'm glad I follow what, what God tells me to do and, and moves me. My people need to move. I move them. Um, I was a, a elder and a deacon in the former church that was at, um, and uh, things, as all the years I was there, things were changing. Um, I wasn't really too happy with what was going on. Since the pandemic happened, my eyes were truly opened. Um, I'm someone who wasn't worried about a virus. I believe God is in control, and it was just not that way. There was very few and far between of us in there. And uh, when we were separated, I, I already was coming here to this church alternately, and I felt very comfortable here. And I felt God calling me. This was this is where I belonged to be. So I'm here whether you like it or not. <laughs> I love you all. I love the Lord. Yesterday was amazing. Um, but yes, I'm, I'm reaffirming I was baptized as a baby. Um, I wasn't allowed out of the house until I was baptized. But now I'm going to reaffirm my Lord 
in my own way. Baptism here. Ready to go. Amen. Amen. Got a couple of questions, Jeff. Yes. You know that you're a sinner? And you know that Jesus came to save you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. That you're forgiven and that you've got a place in heaven. And it was all because of what Jesus did. Jeff, in keeping with your testimony about Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. sticking around. I really appreciate it. Hopefully it encourages you.